My name's Suzanne Kovacs. I'm a video journalist with the Courier Mail and I was given the opportunity to go out uh, right onto the floodwaters in Brisbane together with uh, one of our photographers, Sarah Marshall. We were just in a tinny and started out near Coronation Drive. Um, it really was just the most amazing, surreal experience just to see the water as high as your street signs um, and to literally be, be floating, floating along and towards and across Coronation Drive, you know, a route that many of us who commute in Brisbane know really, really well. We ended up right around the back of the Wesley Hospital and came across the Croquet Club. Inside was an absolute mess, tea and coffee still on the bench, uh, knives up in the kitchen ready to be used. It, it looked like nothing had been done at all. Not long after, we saw this. It wasn't the only car we saw. In fact, I think we might have even just floated right over the top of a few here and there. And then there was this guy. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Greg Donahoe. Greg, you're enjoying a bit of a dip here, are you? Yeah, I'm, what can we do? We're stranded, so I've got to make the most of it. It's my holiday from Sydney, so. The water levels, uh, well, I'll just show everyone. It doesn't look like you're going to have much longer before your pool turns into the river. Yeah, I, the water's blue at the moment, but not much longer. I think it's going to be a couple, half a metre to go, and it'll be brown just like everything else is around here at the moment. So. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't believe we got under that. So here we are on Land Street in Orkinflower. We've just come from Corro Drive. Behind us you can see apartments flooded up close to the bottom level. Um, not everyone's evacuated though. We've got people having a great old time, a couple of beers on the veranda. Not a bad way to spend the day in sunny Queensland ordinarily, but of course we can't forget that this really is a massive disaster and people are losing their livelihoods and their homes. So Josh, what are you doing here today? Trying to get what I can before I leave for good. This is long gone, this house. So I never thought I'd be able to kayak through my own street and park it in my living room. <laughs> so this is different. <laughs> Back over near Corro Drive, we checked out the regatta, which is, you know, one of the biggest landmarks in Brisbane. And unfortunately, it turned out they weren't serving any cold beers, but I guess we can forgive them because the water was just, it was half submerged. Okay, so we're here with Jack and Tom Seaton from Tawong. Guys, we're standing on top of your garage right now. Um, a bit hard to believe, but how long has the water been this high? Um, it started about midnight last night and it's been rising pretty steadily up until recently it's really starting to come in now though. Are you concerned about how high it might get? No, not really. My apartment's up the back so I'm safe but these guys, they might get a little bit wet. A few times we came across families or groups of people uh, that had just waited a touch too long and uh, were being evacuated by emergency services. This right here is the Tawong Bowls Club and right now it and the surrounding parklands are looking a little bit more like an inland sea. Uh, we're on the green right now, not that you'd know it, and the waters haven't even peaked yet. Towards the end of the day we managed to get over to the University of Queensland campus and that was just unreal. It's, it's where I went to uni back in the day and uh, here there were a couple of guys just you know, just helping out, having a good time on their jet skis. Finally, we made it out onto the river itself. And straight away, as soon as the boat got out there, you could just feel the force of the water. It just changed. It went from, you know, calm tranquility to just this torrent. And needless to say, we just didn't stay out there too long. We were quite happy to call it a day at that point.